My name is Glenn Carr, September 11th, 1950. This summer we went to Washington, D.C. in Atlantic City. We went for five days. When we got to Washington, D.C., we first went to the Washington Monument. Then we walked down uh, Boulevard there to the Smithsonian Institute. Then to Lincoln Memorial and the Jefferson Memorial. From uh, Washington, D.C., we went to Atlantic City. We stayed at a big hotel there. We uh, had our first swim in the ocean. It's the first time I ever swam in water like that. The water is very salty. And on the boardwalk here, the boardwalk's eight miles long. The first night we walked there, walked our way down, started back, and we were so tired then. We finally got a bus. We had to take a bus back to our hotel. It took us about two hours to walk down the boardwalk, about 15 minutes to get back by the bus. Have we forgotten? When peace came to this country, most people looked forward to an era of going prosperity and ease. Five years later, we are wondering whether we are even going to have a successful peace. Peace. Remember how it came on the night of August 14, 1945? No matter where it caught you, on Times Square, at home, on any college campus, the big news made a noise like giant firecrackers. And in eight months, almost 10,000 servicemen returned to their homes with welcome and well done blazing in bright colors. Yes, in 1946, we had our hands in the fat of the land, in a brand new era filled to bursting with bright promise. But to the rest of the world, the promise was different. For Europe, 1946 floated in like a pall. Returning soldiers by the thousands stared into an empty future. Everywhere there is naked testimony to the horde of the recently passed. They left behind in Europe, Asia, and Africa hundreds of millions of bankrupt people, hundreds of thousands of square miles, a burnt-out earth, broken tools, and now, once again, a cloud of fear, suspicion, and hatred is slowly rising and choking the life freedom of those broken people. In their desperate confusion, while we forget those people are asking, must there be another time? We ask ourselves what can be done to prevent another war. Our future is certain and foreordained unless we advertise this slaughter, unless we prove to the complacent world that we hate war, we shall perhaps find ourselves the next unknown soldier. It would be well for all of us to remember the words of George Santana when he said, people who cannot remember history are compelled to repeat it. I'm a strong believer in backing the church, the United Nations, and other peace organizations. But somehow these groups have not caught the intention of all concerned. 